meal. Order number 47. Number 47, your order's ready. Sour milk. Welcome to fourth meal. Hey, hey pal. Thank How you, guys. <laughs> we already <laughs> talked like 30 minutes off the mic. I wish we could have. It was yeah. hilarious, I by mean, the way. I think. It was you like boner have talk. The audio, right? We could put out a snippet. It you could be like a, a yeah. You know, it could be like a short, short episode. You know? Wow! Oh, wow! Okay. Literally, it was boner talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About boner short. talk. Yeah, about short. not yeah. having boners. <laughs> is, hey, is this is is it weird for you guys like doing this when you know the person? Is it like a little more weird? It's better to me. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because when we know how to talk to you. See, now nah, because I don't I, like I don't like interviews. I just want to have a conversation. I was gonna say when, yeah. when when I interview artists that I have like that i'm friends with it's, it's always yeah it's weird because because really? it, it's like you're trying to be professional but yeah. it's like nah i see what you're saying like i think it's I, more entertaining that way but i think i'm gonna have, we're gonna have some fun with you because like right. first of all i want to say like how rich are you bro Chill, you are bro. Dripping, man sour like, milk is rich no bro these i was like boys, yo what are you wearing right now how these much are is that shirt? Are these are i can, I right now this outfit <laughs> those are dickies but they're probably some collab this outfit with is three with the watch it's like a ten thousand dollar outfit right here, man. Well, the watch alone is already. Is that the Pepsi or the Coca Cola? Which one is that? Pepsi. Oh, yeah, the Pepsi. See, that's like twelve guy, grand. <laughs> the shirt's probably three grand. That's the Louis Vuitton shirt, right? Oh, the sunglasses. All right, this is a Louis Vuitton <laughs> sunglasses. Chill, this is a fifteen thousand dollar outfit. <laughs> I like. He tries to throw it off, be humble with some docs, but they're probably some weird collab. Nah, with Rick I was like, what, what kind of shirt is that? Alex is like, nah, Louis. I'm like. <laughs> yep, that's that Virgil. Hey man, I, I knew I was coming to see you guys. So you're you're notorious, uh, known for your there. your elevator <laughs> selfies. And yeah. It's always just like designer, designer, designer. Yeah. Now, how did that I, come about? Not just that. Hold on. Sour Milk has three kids, and his kids dress better than all of us. <laughs> yeah, that is very true. And you know <laughs> that they grow out of their clothes, bro. Yeah. So it hurts. That you you're really rich. Nah, did you man. low key win the lottery that we don't know about? Nah, you know what everybody always says is that that. Uh, like all my New York homies think that that my my family's like drug cartel or something, but it's not. It's not it. Um, you just I, really love your kids. Yeah, I just love want, my kids. Yeah. You know what it is? I always tell people, man, is like I could never dress a certain way and not have my kids look yeah better than me. Right, you know what I'm right, saying? Yeah. It's like like I don't understand people that that wear like you know expensive ass clothes but their kids will be in like Osh, kosh Osh. Osh. yeah and and, <laughs> and and again like no, like nothing against it but i'm saying if you're dressing a certain way you, you can't be having your kids looking nah crazy. especially you know with saying? social media yeah. yeah bro like you can't do it so so i don't know i just I, I buy them shit that i feel like i would wear you like nice things and you know what i like about that too because i'm i'm the same way bro the way i see it is I'm not cheap with my money at all. Yeah. I, if I, oh, definitely I'm reckless. I'm bro. gonna spend it, bro. Because yeah, hell yeah. The way, I, like, one day we're gonna be gone, and like, can't take I tell, it with you. We bro, work I tell so people hard, that all the time. and if you're not gonna like enjoy your money, guess what? When you're gone, someone else is yep. spending that money exactly right? yep. that you worked hard on. Exactly. So, I tell people that. So all the just time, bro. enjoy your money. Yeah, man. While you're here. I, I, listen, bro. When I die, I'm. I love my kids, but my plan is for them to fucking have their own money too. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> So 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 when I die, bro, I ain't trying to I ain't trying to die with anything in my bank account, dog. Clean my no, shit it's like, out, it's like, bro. Bill, it's like Bill Gates, like he's, like he's leaving his kids like a million or something. Wow. Oh like, yeah. And he's donating like everything like before he dies. Yeah, he wants. He wants. Yeah. To I, no. See, and that's the thing. Like, not obviously, if I'm a fucking millionaire when I die, like of course I'd want to give my kids. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. but I'm saying like the plan is for them to yo little motherfuckers yeah, to teach them to have make your own. own money, dog. Yeah, 100. Work hard. You know what I'm saying yeah. Le Come leave on. them set up a little better than the, how we had it, exactly. but still work. Exactly, yeah. bro. Like listen, just because you're born in America, you're still Mexican, motherfucker. Yeah. Like get to work. You know, <laughs> cabrones. Yeah, dog. Come on. <laughs> don't don't give me that shit. You know? Oh man. Well, but but yeah, I don't know. That that's really it, man. I just you know like I'm you glad said, you're enjoying money. Your, yeah, your, your I, life, bro. Yeah. Listen, bro. I'm not no. Soy tacaño. I don't know how to say that. You know. Yeah, in, you're, in not, uh, you're not. You're uh, not. You're not. Thin, uh, what is it? Like, I, like, it I don't is, mind. I don't mind way. spending my money. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like, like, yo, bro, if it's a fucking an expensive shirt, fuck it. Yeah. You want it? You're gonna buy it. Yeah, bro. You're better than me, man. Like, if I have money in my pocket and it's burning a hole, like I go gamble. No, See, I've seen this guy lose two thousand dollars a couple. But then, days like, ago I'm on like, like five minutes. I'm on like. Goat and StockX looking at you the shoe for like $350. $350. <laughs> Good Lord. See, bro, that's one thing I've never I've never gotten into gambling. So yeah, like, same, man. I, I've blood. never I've never same. been able some Asian shit for sure. Yeah, bro. It. Cause I'll I'll spend like twenty dollars like when I when I'm out with people in yeah. Vegas, I'll be like, yo, come on, just just come like do this slot machine or whatever. 
bro, if I lose twenty dollars, I'm pissed. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I can't do this shit, bro. Yeah. I'm not doing it. So it's more like I do it for the uh, adrenaline, you know. See, no, yeah, I'd rather yeah. just go like buy a pair of shoes. I know. Yeah, that's what I mean. I'd rather like have something, an item. For yeah, my money. yeah, yeah, exactly. I, mean, I think about it after, but you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm sure winning <laughs> big, it, it, you know, is a good feeling. Ex- what, but whatever, I'm not gonna yeah. take that risk. <laughs> anyway, um, so milk. Let's talk about. You got a lot going on. So you are on the radio mm-hmm. every night with mm-hmm. Just Incredible. Yep. L.A. Leakers. The yep. lift off. And the lift off. Yeah. And then you also travel with Tyga. Mm-hmm. And then you also DJ in LA, Vegas, and et cetera mm-hmm. on your own too. Yeah. So I wanted to talk to you about this because I dealt with this and I'm sure Justin deals with this. I don't think five necessarily had that issue, no. but being on power 106 and being known for like a, the hip hop station, mm-hmm. the first time I started going to Vegas and especially um, when you had certain people like clients or rappers that knew you from the radio yeah, yeah, station yeah, yeah, yeah. when they would come see you in vegas and they hear you play house yeah they're like the they're fuck are you on fuck do you deal with that bro <laughs> oh my god dog like no other man it's it, crazy it dri- honestly it drives me crazy yeah. because listen i love hip-hop hip-hop is 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 like the genre that introduced me to everything i remember when saying? i met yeah, you you were like really like backpacker yeah bro like, when like, i met you listen, your brother, when i'm in the whip i still listen to all that backpack shit yeah. like so i i started on the street team on power 106 and his brother junior was on the street team yeah we had a hit somewhere in the ie so we stopped at his crib and that's the first time i met him we were yeah. in a power 106 truck or a, a <laughs> yeah. van i don't i forgot and that's the first time i met him and he was probably in the dilated people i don't bro, know what I'm gonna yeah. say yeah dilated visionaries yeah. T-shirts, visionaries yeah like bro i yeah so so but being in radio and then obviously that translating yeah. into clubs is like that shit's open because i used to hate everything yeah if it wasn't Same if here, it man. wasn't like keeping that, it real that was a backpack mentality yeah hate bro. Everything. Here, man. exactly and, and i'm uh, i know we we spoke off the uh, do you guys call it off the air what, sure. what is it called yeah, yeah. off the podcast off, yeah. off the mic yeah off, <laughs> yeah, off yeah we spoke record, off mic uh yeah. about uh, how I got my name and part of it has to do with that you know just me being like that fucking bitter like oh yeah so let's keeping just, it real now shit. that we're on the mic how did you get your name DJ Sour Milk Cause, so because <laughs> it's a unique name yeah no it definitely is and it, it trust me it has its negatives and it has its positives yeah, yeah. but but you know um so so like I said I was like a backpack hip-hop kid you know so I thought everything on the radio was trash yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, like I thought all the DJs on the radio were trash. I was like, man, I'm better than all these motherfuckers, dude. Like, mm-hmm. so I used to tell people I was past due. You know, like, and you know, DJ past due doesn't really have a ring. You were to the it. young old head, exactly, yeah. <laughs> bro. Exactly. You were young as hell, but mad that's at everybody. Exactly what it was, bro. Yeah. So, so I don't know. Sour milk just, I guess, has a better ring to it. Um, so it's just a metaphor for being past due or expired. And yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, bro. I'm fucking expired. Sour bro. milk is definitely expired. <laughs> yeah, nah. And, and, and so the, it just, you know, it was just that really, like, just me thinking that I was better than everybody, man. Yeah. Like, which is fucking. So when it, so when did you first start accepting the jiggy music? So Not until I started working at Power. So okay, so wow. e- so like, how does even someone with that type of attitude even accept the job? <laughs> yeah, at power? no, I'm gonna I'm tell you what it was. You know, think about it, it's like man, fuck power, unless it's like Friday Night Flavor, yeah, yeah, yeah or like yeah, the yeah. wake up show, yeah, right? exactly. Yeah. Now nah, what it was is you know just like I'm sure you guys probably had like homies growing up, everybody wanted to rap, yeah. So I had hom- all my homies rapped, you know what I'm saying? Like and and uh, I remember my brother. So my brother worked at the radio station. Yep. I remember him coming home one day. And I was there with like a few of my boys and he was like, yo, they're hiring on the street team. Like you guys should come audition, you know? And I was like, nah, like I'm cool. And my boy was like, nah, fuck that. Like we, we should put go. us on. Yeah. yeah, yeah like, yeah. like we should go. Like I'm gonna come audition too, you know, like let's do it. You yeah. know, like, like maybe I can get my shit played on the radio. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Smart. And so I was like, all right, fuck it. Like if you, I'll go with you, you know, uh, I'll go audition or whatever. And yeah, I auditioned and, and, you know, obviously I had Bob a, Hope bit, Park. a bit of a, yeah, Bob Hope Park. <laughs> oh, you exactly. did the same thing? Hell yeah. Bob yeah. Hope Park. I, I didn't take no shortcuts, bro. I went to the audition and everything. Exactly. Nice. So, yeah. So I had, to, even though my brother worked there, like I still had to do the audition yeah. and everything. Yeah. Even though but, Echo worked there, had, had yeah. to put in a good word, I still had to go through exactly. the process. But, but, you know, he told, he, like, I remember my brother telling me beforehand, like, yo, just a heads up. Like, you know, when we asked to audition, like a big, he's like, you should volunteer first. You know, he's mm. like, cause if they see you take initiative, yeah. like, he's like, that's like a, a, a good 
good like first impression, yeah. you know? Because shows so, you're not shy. Exactly. So so yeah, as soon as they asked, like, yo, I'll go first, you know. And, and mm-hmm. anyway, I ended up getting the job uh, on a street team. Who and, has and, hundred and six dollars in change? <laughs> <laughs> for these tickets yeah. to the Orange County all, Fair, only 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 Flavor Unit people <laughs> wow. will get that joke. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, it's dog. A, yeah, so, so, so we used to do random shit like that. But um, but yeah, so I got a job on the street team, and and you know, I still hated all that shit. Yeah. And then, but it's like once you you're around it so much, and you know, I started because that that that's the crazy shit is I missed that whole like jiggy era no limit era like i don't know i didn't know about any of that Same shit what, until, so what year yeah. was this for uh the street team i'm uh, trying to think I, what era i started was. in like oh six i think okay oh six so let's was that like when, when did you Cheney? start when did you start on the air oh four like, yeah. today i know by the time this air this podcast airs oh really it's, it's not the today, okay but so, today so, was the first day so then, Sife so and I then, were on the radio because no uh, Vinny, Vinny the freaking Reekin got married on this day oh, and ODB crazy. died on this day. Yeah. So Holy today shit. I will never forget. That's so crazy. today in 04 was okay. my first time so, on the so radio then with I Sife. started in 05 then. That's when it was. Okay. I started because I remember you were you, you and Sife had like recently started on the air. We you guys were started. still I remember you guys were like recording we were still doing in the, the street hub. team. Yeah. Cause we were like afraid to be judged. Like we were still doing street team. I'm on the radio and I'm like, I am not I'm in front of the seven eleven giving out stickers. But the street team was so hard where like if you left, you're like Hollywood. Yeah. So you kind of had to hold on to yep. it. Yeah. Even I, though you were I, doing did, on air shit. Exactly. It was weird, I, I bro. did street team for probably like another year and a half after I was already, already mixing on the air. On the yeah. Because so, you, it's not because you wanted to. Yeah. It was, it was just you like, don't you, be, didn't, you didn't want to be, be judged. judged. Yeah. 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 So, so, but yeah. So I missed, like I said, I missed all that, all that like commercial hip hop shit. Yeah. Because like, that was like all 90s. that stuff like 96 to like, exactly. To early 2000s. Yeah. 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 yeah and, and, and I didn't know any of that you shit until you didn't like, you didn't like chingy i didn't like nothing bro, bro. i hated no limit but look at me now exactly bro. that's what i'm saying now, i love no limit bro, did, yeah. i love no limit just for the cases yeah. with the colors yeah see no i hated all that shit but it. but once i like opened myself yeah. up musically i was like yeah this is kind of hard because like, i was always don't get me wrong i was always into like jay-z yeah no limit cash money but i also was on my two max yeah. and you yeah know, visionaries exactly, exactly. And, Quasimodo yeah, and, exactly. and, you know, loop pack, like uh-huh. all that, bro. Yeah, see, and that's how I am now. Now I'm like, bro, I listen to everything. Yeah, same here, and I, I mean, you have I, a big connection with Morrissey. We've done exactly. a couple. We went to, we went to yeah, we yeah, went to a show. Yeah, so, but that's the thing, like, and even, even like with Spanish music, like growing up, it wasn't cool to listen to Spanish music, right. you know, like you don't want motherfuckers calling you a wetback, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, so, so like when or my parents, chunty. yeah, bro, so, so <laughs> I, I never, I, I was n- I never like wore that shit on my chest like like nah I'm Mex like I was always like you know what I'm saying like kind of embarrassed about that shit and mm-hmm. then as I got older yeah, like you know what I'm saying yeah. I'm like damn bro like what the fuck was I thinking like yeah. I, I speak to my kids in only Spanish yeah you know what I'm saying like like I listen to a lot of Spanish you're music. hardcore Mexican but all your kids have like names from Spain Europe yeah <laughs> European, European names European yeah, names. yeah <laughs> European names exactly yeah <laughs> nah but but and, and so it's just like. Like even like even with the music, bro. Like I listen to so much Spanish music now, and and you know what I'm saying. It's just yeah. all I, I honestly feel like the start of that was was getting a job at Power yeah. and and opening myself up musically to to commercial shit that you know I didn't listen to before. And Did then, you have a couple of friends that you were like embarrassed to let, like be around because you went to Power and started playing? Nah, chingy? because because all my close friends, like all my real close friends, were. They all listened to all that shit. Oh, so yeah. I was the weirdo. You were weirdo. just the only one. Yeah, I was the weirdo because I listened to backpack shit. Mm. You know what I'm saying? They used to be like, Yo, what the fuck are you listening yeah. to? Yeah. You know, they, they used to listen to No Limit and fucking Cash Money and all that shit. Yeah. I didn't listen to none of that shit. I was the only one who didn't out of my group of friends. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, all my friends listen to all that gutter shit, you know? And, well, thank and- God you... Stop keeping it real because uh, you wouldn't be dressed like this. <laughs> yep. yeah, that, that's true. That's another thing, bro. I remember I used to wear fucking like hemp necklaces and shit, cargo <laughs> pants, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, puka like shells. Yeah, bro. <laughs> like, I mean, maybe not puka. I, I don't know. Was there puka shells? I don't fucking remember. But, you know, like triple five soul oh, yeah. and like, oh, you know God. what I'm saying, Hell bro? Yeah. Like, oh, I used to wear shit. like a fishing vest with like dickies and shit. Oh, yeah. Cause, cause five was in that. Oh, was like, you were part of that whole yeah, shit, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Same shit. Like, you know, I started DJing like, at a bar and uh-huh. like, it was just like at the Venetian I, and they want to hear commercial music and like I love the reaction 
the reaction and mm-hmm. like I can I can still fuck around and do cool shit yeah. playing jiggy music. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that 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 was I think the thing that really sold me was once I started doing clubs and and seeing people's reactions yeah. to these songs that I hated and I'd be like, damn, this shit ain't so bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like yeah. You, know, you know who it was? Like I was doing a a fashion show for Echo uh, and then they brought in a DJ, like this guy Rich Medina, and he's like a super yeah. backpacker too. Uh-huh. And like he played like soul funk, whatever. And then he was playing Biggie and like Jay and Red Man. I was like, well, not Red Man, but you know. Yeah. And I was like, damn, this dude's like playing this stuff. Mm-hmm. That's dope. Yeah. So I just kind of like, you know, open up more. It kind of so, gave yeah. you the okay. Yeah, like, yeah, I, if yeah, he could do it, sure. I could do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Nah, yeah. I feel that. I, I, and that's kind of how I felt with like even seeing dudes like Mr. Chalk, you know, Mr. Yeah. Chalk. Oh, yeah. Same. Like, yeah. Like, you know, Chalk was a great I, example. I, I hold, or I Mello hold, D. Yeah. Mello. Mello. Mello exactly. Like, like all the examples. people like, it's like we hold those people up here. Yeah. So it's like seeing them basically say like, oh, it's okay to play yeah. this shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. motherfucker, I, I got to make a living too. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? And that's, that's the way I looked at it. So it's like when I'm in the clubs now and I'm playing fucking, I don't know, Kesha, not Kesha. You know, that's a bad example, but. Saweetie? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Probably, Kesha probably, what, 10 years ago? I don't yeah, know what the fuck it was, but, but it's like, you know. Yo, I, be, I, bet I mean, you, I'm using Chingy as an example, so you yo, already yo, know where my head's at. I bet you Kesha, if you drop it, like, oh, it'll still go set, up. It's going to go off because now all the kids from the Kesha days, yep. like 08, yep. is not, are going to clubs now. So yeah, like, bro. I remember when I was a kid. Bro, you play Timber? I, that shit going oh up, bro. <laughs> yo, we have an inside joke with Timber with uh, with Corey. <laughs> what is, what is it? He plays it in his wedding sets and shit. Oh, yeah. he's, a, he's a wedding DJ. It's going down. <laughs> bro, that shit go. I'm yelling, no, Timber. Pit, anything with Pitbull on it, bro, is like you could play that shit anywhere. Yeah. yeah. So. Especially at weddings or corporate parties. Oh, uh, hell yeah. They Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> exactly. Yep. Exactly. So now, so now you are... On a street team, on a radio, playing mm-hmm. jiggy stuff. Yeah. And then you started doing clubs at the same time? Yeah. The crazy shit is... I what was had, your, do you remember the first club you did yeah, where you had QC's a Yeah, it was QC's 2020. That was the first club. That was the uh, first... And, and like a I did spot. terrible, bro. And, like, um, I cleared the dance floor. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was my... What were you I, playing? I, bro, like, West Coast shit. Like, mm. quick, tonight, yeah. fucking... I feel like that would work there. Nah, but but this was in, in the time when when they wanted to hear like, like Pitbull was big, oh, you know ah. what I'm saying? Like like that type, and it's you know, all Latins in there. Yeah. So so. Oh shit. Um, but I remember I was uh, um, uh, and, and on so so that was the f- I had never even been to a club before. Like yeah. I'm yeah, you're like not, I said, I was a, a big backpack club dude. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I was I didn't do none of that shit. So, um, I was on the street team at the time, and I remember I was I was uh. Big Boy was hosting the club, and and he he was like, "Yo, uh, whoever I don't know who who the DJ was there, but but he wasn't feeling it, so he was like, "Yo, he's like, you want to you want to get on? He's like, you got your stuff with you?" And I was like, "Yeah, like I, I got it, you know." But I like I said, I had never done a club before, so right. I was like, "Fuck, I don't know what the, you know." Oh, but I don't want to tell him no, you know. I was like, "Like, yeah, I'll, I'll get on, you know." So he's like, "All right," he's like, "Go get on." I was like, "All right," so yeah, I fucking got up there, got on. And I, I probably played like 30 minutes, like a 30 minute set. And I remember I was like, fuck, like for one, I saw people leaving the dance floor. Oh, was, <laughs> no, so that, especially that, in that scene. Yeah. You, Cause I got to understand. I, I came from that scene as well. The Montezolo. You guys like rock stars in those, in like those clubs. Right? Yes, bro. <laughs> but they're tough. Like they'll, they clear, like if they don't like a song, they're yeah, out, bro. Yeah. They're out. They are out. And, and, and so that wasn't even the worst part though. I remember, uh, as soon as I finished, Big boy was gone. Oh, and I was oh, like, yeah. I was like, God. So you damn. bummed him out? I feel like I, he would love hearing DJ quit. No, he did, but okay. but but you know, he didn't want to be a part of the. Yeah, whole, he was probably like, yo, fuck this. He's like, this dude, dance yeah, he's like, he probably like, yo, this dude fucking sucks. Holy like, let me get shit. out of here. You know what I'm saying? So so yeah, dog. But I, like, <laughs> I, I I was doing like doubles, yeah. like in the club. Oh, yeah. you know, I was one of those guys. Yeah, no, bro. let me tell you what I was back when I first started doing clubs. Instrumental. I was yes, bro. <laughs> I was so inspired by because I knew Vice and Echo. The radio, and I would, did it. I would try to do what they did on yep. the radio, thinking yep. that's the way you DJ. Yeah, bro, I was in a club. Vice came to see me at La Mirage, <laughs> and I'm like thinking I'm murdering it, bro. Yeah, La Mirage. Like Goodfellas were there hosting, so they're literally doing talk breaks, yeah. and, and I'm on like hitting the post. Like as yeah. soon as they're done talking, the lyrics come in. I'm killing it. Yeah, if it was a radio mix, right? Yeah. <laughs> bro, I will never forget. I'm I'm fucking 21, 20, 20 years old. And then I asked Vice, like, oh, what'd you think, man? He was like, yo, it was good. You're clean. But let me give you some advice. Don't play instrumentals in the club. 
yeah, goes to club. Bro. They just want to hear yep. the the music. Like they want Straight the element the beat, of surprise. Bro. Like yep. don't get let them know what's coming for thirty seconds. Mm-hmm. All right. And I was like, what, yeah. bro? And after that day, never ever ever played an instrumental. I I would you know those compilation yeah, records because yeah, yeah, yeah. this is vinyl. Yep. Yeah. Like compilation, intro version. yeah, the intro versions was straight that, or like try to figure out how to slam yeah. shit, which uh-huh. to me was a weird New York concept back yeah. then. That's not yeah. how we do it out here, right? That was frowned upon on the West Coast. It was just yeah, like, what I'm saying. Yeah, and we we're just so used. We got information from radio stations. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. how you learn. I didn't. There's no YouTube. Yeah. There's no. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I what I listen to, and that's the radio. Yeah. See, and that was the thing. I remember. I remember hearing the first time I heard Kid Capri do a live yeah. set, and and. Like that shit blew my fucking mind, bro. bro. He still I yeah, heard him recently. Doo-wop and like yeah. Master I heard him recently. Kid Capri, bro, he's a Next beast level. on the mic too, man. Oh he's my just... god! But even the way he's he slams shit, yeah, yeah bro. He's... And, and I heard him on vinyl, and I was yeah. like, he just had a stack of vinyl, and he was just like stacking the yep. motherfuckers up. And I was just fast, like, fast too, bro. Like seeing that shit, I was like, yo, like that shit blew my fucking mind because I had never seen nothing yeah. like that. You know man. what I'm saying? Like like the the West Coast style of DJing yep. was completely different. I heard Funk Master Flex like back in like 0304 at raw yeah you know that club and i was like it, the way he was slamming shit like going back and forth uh-huh. like on like this is how we do it and i was like dude this guy's dope and he's just keeping the net dance floor moving yep. and like the energy oh, the yeah. energy is like next level dude it's yeah. crazy so um let's fast forward a little you know we like to keep our shit short and and i don't want to hear your whole damn life story <laughs> <laughs> Fair but, enough. but what i do find very interesting that you are completely opposite to us is you're sober. Yeah. 100%. You've never had That's alcohol right. about that. Yeah. your uh-huh. whole life. And, and 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 this is like coming from the DJ mentality of like, oh, you gotta go out and drink. Uh you gotta you gotta like keep your relationship private your 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 whole life. You got kids. Yeah. And you don't drink. Yeah. Um, yeah and over and here, I'm like, I got to be single or uh, if girls around me aren't going to work. got to be drunk to have a good set. <laughs> yeah. You got to be. Oh, well, I do have to be drunk to have a good set. <laughs> See, I, 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 can't, I don't know. I can't even imagine what that would be like. I, like, so, so it, the, the drinking thing, I, I think it kind of, it's the same shit with like shit that I wear. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I've never been like a follower, you know what I'm yeah. saying, to where it's like. I got to see something. I got to get approval from somebody yeah, else to, yeah. to, to think something's cool. Like, yeah. like a lot of motherfuckers think I like, especially all my homies, they think I dress weird as fuck. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, yo, like what the fuck are you wearing? You know what I'm saying? Like you're you on some weirdo shit. You know, yeah. I'm actually kind of toned down right now. I'm just wearing all black, but, yeah, yeah. but, but I'm saying like normally I'll wear some wild you're fashion shit. forward. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, even you've even told me shit before, like, yo, like, what are you doing? You know yeah, what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like everybody's told me shit and, and it's like, I just wear what I like. You but know what I mean, and, I think and, your name says it all. You're just that guy. Like you want to, you don't want to be. Yeah, I don't. You want to stand fuck. out. Exactly, yeah. bro. So, so it's the same with drinking. It's like, uh, you know, I think a lot of people when they fold, it's it's in high school. Yeah. Um, and, and with me, and your brother's opposite. Oh, my brother. Yeah, drinks he's, and he's, smoke. He's, he's a terrorizer, bro. He's a terrorizer. <laughs> Do you but, think he had a little like I don't want to be like this fool? Nah, cause cause it uh like when my friend started drinking, it was in high school, so. I I couldn't even hang around him at the, you know I, I was the annoying little brother yeah. at the time so mm-hmm. it was like I didn't know what he was like you know what I'm saying like yeah. I, I didn't know he drank crazy oh, okay. and, you know what I'm saying so he kind of hit it from yeah but he kept it out the house yeah, yeah, yeah. you know Got what I'm it. saying so 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 um, but yeah like in high school you know when when my friends started drinking it's like I, I tell people this all the time not even not trying to be cocky but i was the popular kid in school yeah. so it's like i like it's like yo nah motherfucker i'm the trendsetter you yeah. know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna drink because you're drinking but now that you now that you play in vegas and uh you're around a bunch of drunk people or bottle poppers yeah and that like try to get yeah. you a drink like oh, you've never no, thought about like, like like yeah. like because because for me i, I sometimes i do want to be sober because yeah. i don't want to deal with hangovers yeah but i'll be in the club around drunk people bro and i'm like give me a drink yeah I can't deal with this <laughs> well, shit. well for one it's like I, I always try to keep the dj booth clear um oh. I, I know i know people love having people in the dj having bitches in there and blah, but i don't it's like, know, i don't even know necessarily we love having people it's just, just we don't know how to get As, rid of yeah. people sometimes uh, see i, I i'm there. a dick sometimes so uh, i'll be like yo y'all see, i don't i can't out. be a dick you know what i'm saying like I, i've kicked I mean, we'll, we'll tell security, out. but yeah, like, I don't, I'm like, duh, like, come on. Yeah. Man. I mean, if, if, as long as they're not like touching me, I, I don't mind, you know what okay, I'm saying? Yeah. Like, whatever. But, but it's like, when, once they start like invading my space, well, nah, yeah, you, you don't get, get bored out. like at all? Like, nah, nah, nah. I, I, I drink just, cause I get bored. Really? Yeah. yeah. See, I, I don't know, man. It, it, I just, 
I but feel like to I answer suck to, to answer your question though is like like of course yeah I've definitely thought about it I've yeah, definitely yeah. like I, I would say the last five years four years I've thought about it more than ever like, like just really? what would it be like yeah like not even what would it be like but I feel like it would help <laughs> the uh, anxiety the, the, not even the anxiety just the relationship yeah. aspect oh, of it that, yeah yeah because. Yeah, yeah. Bro, turning down a fucking promoter or a club owner or or a manager, it's <laughs> yeah. not. It's uncomfortable. They're like very uh, uncomfortable. You don't drink. Yeah, they take it so personal. Yeah, yeah, bro. So so when they send you a bottle or bring you a shot, like yo, let's take a shot, you know, and you're like, nah, I don't drink. That shit is so uncomfortable, bro. Bro, um, I remember one time I forgot where I was. It was a market I'm not really in that uh, much, and, and I went for the first time. And in my head, I'm like, oh, I don't have friends here. I'm going to keep it sober. Yeah. I was so hungover from Vegas. <laughs> and I went to this new market. And just so happens, the owner wants to rage. Oh, and I'm like, oh, no, I'm not drinking tonight. And, bro, he literally told me, he goes, oh, why? Because this is in Vegas? Fuck. Bro, dead ass told me that he got so mad and offended. I was like, ah, oh, So no, did you end up I drinking? Just, huh? Did you end up drinking? I don't remember. I think I had a couple, but like. A it, couple. It, but he threw, yeah, a couple. <laughs> But he threw me off. I was like, damn, is it really? Like, people really get a Bro, yeah. nah, motherfuckers take that shit I think because we have a, a rep, too, though. Yeah, yeah, y'all yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. We're known are, ragers. Uh, yeah, you guys are known, to, you know, <sighs> yeah. to get turned up. But, but um, and, and again, it's not, it ain't like, the reason I never drank or did drugs ain't for no specific reason other than I just never yeah. had the urge to, like, um, but I but, love that because because you're successful. So yeah. we have listeners that don't drink, and, yeah. and me and Five always talk about, oh, you got to drink. You, that's, up, yeah. you have to drink because that's relationships. But that's our, our point of view. Yeah. Yeah. So this is your no, point. And, of view. and trust me, like, like I said, it does make it a, a bit uncomfortable. But it it's does. like, yo, the, the work will speak for itself. You know what for I'm sure. saying? Like right. at the end of the day, and and um, another thing, another reason. Again, so so I, I, initially the reason I didn't drink was just because I just had no urge to do it. If alcohol fucking stinks, I'm like, yo, if that shit smells, I, I can only imagine what that shit tastes like. You know what I'm saying? Not, like, yeah, it, 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 you never had a drop. At I've all. never, wow. ever had a drop. So it's like when I see motherfuckers take a shot, you've never seen someone take a shot and smile. Right. They always have a, a shit face. You know what, what about saying? wine? Wine smells like shit to me. Really? Wine's delicious. Yeah, I don't know. I it just because I know smells. Khaled doesn't drink and he drinks wine now. Yeah, I don't know. I, it, you should try wine. I, I, I'm. I mean, I'm not. I'm not because wine's it. actually like. But I would need to do that. Flow. Jesus I, drank wine. Yeah, he also had dreads. I ain't growing dreads. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but but uh, I, I ain't like if I, if I do drink wine, I would need to do it like at the crib because yeah. that's another thing. I'm honestly scared to how I you would want, act. How you right? I. Listen, I've toned it down a lot over the years, but I used to be reckless, bro. Like, fucking do whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and so I'm scared that that'll come out times 10 mm. if I if I get drunk. Like, what I'll, does that mean? Like, fight? I'll, like, angry? No, nah, I'll, I'll, like, pull my dick out. Oh. Like, at the club or so. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and you already know, we talked yeah, about this wild. off the record. I don't want anybody to see my dick soft. <laughs> so, so I would probably... I would probably pull my dick out soft if I was drunk, bro. And, and that shit would just ruin everything. <laughs> oh you know what I'm saying? Like, God. if somebody saw that fucking little nub, bro. Soft milk. Like, if I was hard, that I would be like, cool, nub. fuck it. You know soft. what I'm saying? You said soft milk? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> DJ soft milk, bro. Oh, shit. But, but, but uh, I'm scared to what I would do. You know what I'm saying? And 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 I feel like alcohol just, it, it just turns you up a notch. And it's the opposite for, like, weed. Like, I have smoked weed twice. Yeah. Okay. Twice in my life. And I don't see. I personally don't like smoking weed. I love weed. I, honestly, I, I didn't get it. I didn't okay. feel anything either time yeah, I smoked. Yeah. And both times I smoked was, like, real weed with fucking rappers, like yeah. rapper weed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and Like Wiz or Snoop or someone. It, it or was Wiz, Wiz and 2 Chains were the two times that I smoked. Uh, so I, heard I think I remember like this. Weed. Yeah, and, and I don't know. I didn't feel anything. You probably didn't inhale. Nah, bro. They were making sure I was doing that shit right. Oh, I was coughing shit, huh? like a motherfucker. You oh know? yeah, if you you, you didn't, didn't get high feel when you coughed. Nah, oh, damn, that's crazy. But you know what? I think what it was is like, bro. My so brother is the biggest fucking smoker. Well, maybe not anymore, but but growing up, yeah. he would always be smoking in the room, and so I would just be like in there. Hand. So I, I maybe I'm immune to that shit. I don't fucking know, bro. Possible. Mm -hmm. yeah. But but I didn't feel anything. Like I was just like, oh, okay, cool, like whatever. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not a gay, again. I'm not telling people not to drink. I'm not telling people not to, like do whatever the fuck makes yeah, you happy. Yeah, for sure. Everybody's you know their own. You know. But but it's just it, it's not for me. And 
I would probably I would smoke again just because, like I said, I didn't feel shit. Yeah. It felt like it didn't do anything for mm -hmm. me. I don't give a fuck. You know. What All right, saying? let's but talk. Let's talk on the road with Tiger. How does it feel? How does it feel being on these big ass arena stages? Do you get nervous? Nah, you know, it's all. actually the complete opposite. See, for man. me, like, if I had a DJ at a big arena, I would need a couple shots. Nah, see, like, <laughs> even, like, festivals, yeah, there'll be, like, thousands and thousands of people out there. It's, I actually, uh, when I do solo shit, I don't get nervous, but I get anxious. You know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm in Vegas and I got a gig that night, like, when I'm in my hotel room, I get anxious. Like, mm -hmm. like it's not, I can't say it's nerves, but I just, like... One, once I start though, it all goes yeah. away. You know what I'm saying? But but when I do shit with him, there's not one person that gives a fuck about me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all there for him. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's the same. Set, I'm just right? background. You yeah. know? What I'm saying? No, we change it up oh, yeah, all the time. Right. Yeah, because he has like his more like ratchet shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then he has his more poppy shit. Mm -hmm. So depending on you know where he's playing, you know we'll we'll switch up the set depending on what country we're in or whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it, bro. I be up there chilling, bro. Yeah. Like like when I when <laughs> yeah, I'm with true. him, because when you know the pressure, it is more pressure when yeah, it's your gig, exactly, bro. And you got to control a room versus exactly. like, hey, if, if the room ain't feeling it, that's yeah. Tiger, not <laughs> exactly. me. Exactly, <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's fuck true. it, bro. Like they ain't feeling I can it. See you know that. what I'm saying? So 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 it's it's the complete opposite when I do shit with him. That's that's like when I'm the most relaxed. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because it's I'm just I'm I'm background. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm the same way when I do like marquee and there's like a big. Uh, artists performing yeah and like the room's just waiting for them so they're not dancing i don't i, I don't even over stress myself i'm like cool Ain't and nothing then you could do about this and shit, then bro. and then once fault. he performs let them perform and then after if the room starts to die out mm -hmm. i know it's because he's finished Still, so exactly. i don't even yeah. like i used to be like get in my head but same, now i'm like same nah. with me bro because because you know i i had like a residency at dre's for fuck like a few years yeah and you know, they, they were, I feel like the first ones in Vegas to really push the artist shit like that. Did, for sure. Yeah. Like full on concert. Oh yeah. Cause you were with Chris all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I Chris was, Brown. I was so, yeah, exactly. So I would do the Chris nights and I mean, they would, and have I can imagine the crowd just staring, waiting Bruh, for Chris Brown. They don't fucking like, they'll sing along to shit, but they'll just be like, yeah, just yeah. waiting. Like, Cause they don't want to lose their spot. Exactly, bro. It's like, yo motherfucker move yeah. dog. Like yeah. do something, you know? So, so <laughs> yeah, it's tough that, you know, but yeah, I, I just had to learn to be like, fuck it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do so how do you best. balance your life with uh, being on the radio every damn night? Yeah. Going on tour. And I'm talking like overseas tours yeah. with Tyga. Uh -huh. And then still doing your own clubs mm -hmm. and being a dad. Do you sleep? <sighs> you see these fucking bags under my <laughs> eye, bro? I do like, see them. <laughs> God damn, bro. And uh, is that dye or is that really gray hair, bro? Because it could be it's, gray hair. Honestly, originally it was dye, but I feel like the grays might just be coming in. I, you know, because I, I found a few in my beard. And I was this like, is the interesting, Fuck. like, hey, I want to look old. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. I'm you know silver George Fox, Clooney? bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. George, you know how much pussy this George is, Clooney gets, bro? That's true. Come on, man. The good thing that's is, true. like, you don't wake up hungover, though. No, like, I don't. You, don't, you yeah, probably don't even know what that feels like. No, hell no. Well, I mean, I imagine it kind of feels like eating Tommy at like 4 a.m. No, 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 no. Is it different? No, 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 no it's it different. Because I've like woken up throwing up before. Like just, well, yeah. that, that's the thing. My diet is shit. But the hangovers are a different type of pain, bro. Is Trust it? me. Yeah, you don't want it. See, and shit like that. It's like a headache. Fever. Shit, shit like that is like why why would yeah. I why would I want to put myself this fun, that, bro? It so is. worth it sometimes. I don't understand. <laughs> I, I just don't understand what it's just fun. Like, bro. what's... The, I, I don't know. I, again, I, I've never drank, so I don't get yeah, it. Yeah. I, I'll never you don't understand need to, it until man. I You're try. You're successful. You know what I'm saying? Like, You're busy. But, but yeah. I don't know. Like, I'd I, much rather have a drink than a Tommy's chili burger. Nah, you tripping, bro. That's the one. <laughs> it's disgusting. That's scratchy right there, though, man. Scratchy Midnight cravings. Both. Yo, bro. <laughs> listen, I eat the shitty... The shittier, the better. Yeah. You know what wow. I'm saying? Like, I eat like... Yeah. Sour food, exactly, bro. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I saved that for Sundays. I eat pretty clean throughout the week. Really? Yeah, I can't do it. So, do you, is there any? What's next for sour milk? Is there any like strategic plan? <sighs> like, or are you just gonna fucking keep draining yourself and make them bags bigger? Yeah, bro. I'm, like, do, I'm, do, I'm, do you plan on taking something off your plate, man? Like, would nah, you? Like for um, me, like I slow down a lot of gigs, bro. Like, I, this is the first year I've talked about it on the podcast before, but like. It, I got to take care of myself, man. Yeah. And it, and if some gigs, even if even if it's money and if, if they weren't making me happy or helping the career move forward, I, I just took them off the plate, bro. Really? Yeah, see, I don't know. I, I think I'll I'm... see you go, not to cut you off, I'll see him, bro, like in Vegas, and he'll take a 5 a.m. flight, and then he's with his kids. And I'm like, oh, yeah, where do you tough, sleep? Uh, not on the plane, because it's a 40-minute flight. 
honestly, you'd be surprised how much that shit helps, though. That that forty minute yeah. nap on the plane, <laughs> like uh, not, we don't not do those anymore. You take the later flight now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I always I take sleep, the first bro. flight out. Yeah. I always take the first flight out. But but um, you know what? I think I'm just like scared to to lose the momentum. You know what I'm saying? So so I just I well, don't no, I, turn down shit, bro. Yeah, I don't turn down shit. Like maybe like one or two in like in the East Coast. Nah, but. bro. I don't turn down. I, don't I still have fun fuck. too, though. You know. So yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't mind the travel because I sleep on planes. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have trouble sleeping on planes. Yeah. I'll knock the fuck out. You nice. know. Um, yeah. So so traveling is kind of cool to me because yeah. Well, I'm, I'm obsessed with like getting miles for me too. airlines. So like, who do you like fly a, with? See, I have a gang of miles with American Same. and with. Yeah. I think Delta or United, one, either Delta or United. I don't remember one of them. Okay. But but like, I I honestly low key be getting pissed when we fly private. People oh, yeah. love flying private. I'd be like, <laughs> yeah. damn, I don't want to fucking fly yeah, you private. Get no I ain't getting no miles yeah. for this shit. <laughs> but on top of that, I just feel like you could feel everything on the people. Yeah, yeah. private is just, like pretty that, sketchy, bro. Yo, it's crazy. Like I would take a direct flight or like a connecting flight on American, and there's like a direct on Delta. But I was like, I'm not getting miles on that. Like I can't do <laughs> yeah. it. And it's bro, like cheaper too. I'll be on the same like, ah, shit. Nah, no, I'll, take, I'll take I'll take a connection. I'd much shit. rather have a first class lay down Me too. bed yep. than Me too. private. Bro, and by the way, those lay down beds, that shit is life changing. Oh, life changing. The flight could be twenty four hours and I won't mind. Oh, bro, I didn't want to get off the plane when I landed in Tokyo. I was like, oh, I don't want to get off. No, yet. I got mad because we landed two hours early. <laughs> instead of instead of eleven hours, it was nine. I was yeah. pissed. Bro, I, I wanted a refund. <laughs> I was bro. like, man, the first time I'm in that, the first class. That shit is life changing, bro. Yeah, Especially man. overseas shit. Yeah. Like them long ass flights like that. I got one last question before Talk we get out of here. Milk is notorious for having a really good ear on West Coast artists. You were oh, early yeah, on yeah. Kendrick. Yeah. Nipsey, rest in peace. Yeah. Who who I mean, obviously YG and, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh Ty and, uh -huh. and all these guys, etc. You were always big on on supporting local guys early. Mm -hmm. is, I'm pulling my dick out it, a little bit though, but uh, you know, it, but not when I, it's I soft. Feel, no, not when it's soft. I, I'm medium right now, so so let me. You know, oh, so you're but, ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. You got a chub? Yeah. yeah. I'm, who, who you I'm, looking at? Five, bro. Look <laughs> you're how, not looking at me. Look, look, how, look how fine this guy is, bro. Come on, man. Oh, I'm not wearing pants. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's not wearing pants. Right now. He's not wearing pants. Right now. Um, <laughs> You'll see not, it on like, YouTube. Not, I feel like I feel like not only LA, like listen, bro. I, I feel like I don't talk about this enough. There's a lot talk of about, artists. No, There's a lot of artists. You're LA leaker, yeah, bro. Yeah. There's a <laughs> lot of artists that that I have played first before anybody. Yeah. Like talk about it. That you didn't get credit for, or you feel like you don't. Uh, well, no. Just I. I guess I've never. I've never talked. I've never put it out there like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, and I don't. I don't ever ask these artists for shit. Like, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But, but I know but, that's why I brought it up. I recognize. Yeah, so, um, I'm sure they know too. But yeah. I mean, maybe who knows? But but um. Wait, what were you going to ask? Who's next? Yeah, yeah who's is next? there anyone that we should keep an eye out for? Oh, you told me someone. Yeah, Tony. Oh, no, but he's not, the West, he's not West Coast, though. Yeah, baby low King. Keyed? Baby oh, Baby King. King. I said Low Key. Where's he from, <laughs> Detroit? No, he's Baby, baby King's from L.A. Oh, oh okay, there is. you go. Cause like, or I think he's from L.A. Shit. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know him. He, I'm just like a fan of he his He told music. Eric about it like months ago. No, yeah, me. bro. And the one song I've been playing lately. Uh, Orange Soda? Or which yeah, one? that one. Yeah. yeah bro, like. So Baby Keem, huh? To me, bro, that kid is special, bro. You ever thought about managing artists, bro? You know you what's got, crazy you got, is you I, have a good little ear. I bro. actually that could be the the, the strategic. And you got goal. manager hair now too. Get, get, yeah, I know. I got the manager hair, bro. <laughs> get money while you're at home with the kids, and these guys are on the road. No, trust me, I would want to. You know, I actually kind of like co-managed an artist at one point years ago. Who's that? Which, uh, your boy YB. Oh yeah, I remember that. Back, like back in the you day. You and Mike. Yeah, exactly. And that's when he had the We Run LA record. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, I remember that. Oh, wow. But but yeah, I don't know. I just. I, I don't know. I, I guess uh, I guess I should probably look into it. You, you should, know what I'm saying? But I've never... Because the way uh, I see it, man, is always, always think about something yeah. else. I always. know, bro. Trust me. And, and I be trying. I be, I'm always like, damn, what the fuck am I going to do after this shit? Because this shit don't last forever. Don't, sure. don't nobody want to fucking yeah. listen to a 60-year-old yeah. DJ. You Especially know when he has gray hair that he died... <laughs> Like you're I up there DJing, shit, looking man. like an 80 year old on purpose. <laughs> I had gray hair before I had gray hair. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I, I mean, honestly, I think I should, but I don't know. That's another thing. Is or something I, in fashion? Yeah. yeah well, that, that's another fashion? thing I've thought about. Yeah. I'm always like, damn, should I start like a clothing line or something? Just the good thing clothes. is you have like a couple million dollars in inventory. That's what I'm saying. Just so your baby clothes. clothes. Uh, okay. So yeah, you can always go. That. Well, they tear that shit. Coop apart, some bro. of that. Maybe tearing that shit. Yeah, you can apart. send my way. Hey, send my way, dog. I'll eBay him for you, man. 
<laughs> that's my hobby. <laughs> so besides Baby Keem, anyone else? Uh, I don't know. That's the first one that comes to mind. I'm sure there's a lot. I'm, uh, I'm bad at this. I need like my laptop in front of me to, yeah. to look through shit. But uh, we, we just had like a, a meeting right now and I was talking to everybody about Baby Keem. That's why that that's like fresh. Um, also, oh, uh, what's that kid's name? It's Arizona something. Oh, yeah. Bro, that... I've only heard that one record. Wait, is it um, Roxanne? Roxanne. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we just played it yesterday. Dude, I just yeah. heard about this kid, um, and I think his 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 record deal. Um, he's still negotiating yeah, or like still, bidding. He, yeah, people he's are in bidding, a bidding but it's, yeah. it's like up to like twelve million dollars, bro. Really? No way. And I don't even. I want to see his Instagram. But last, when I first heard about him, which was a week Let's ago, it, it was he had forty thousand followers. Yeah, he only has like fifty thousand. Oh, so right he now. went up yeah. ten yeah. in a week. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. Think, think about think that. About, yeah. So. And but, but he has that, a, a twelve million dollar record deal. Is it, he, he's from L.A., right? Uh, I think unclear, he's from LA, but, but Arizona but, Serv- Servas. I, yeah. I don't think he uh, is. L.A. Yeah, he says L.A. Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe he lives here. I don't know if he's from here, but yeah, I could be wrong. Not. But but yeah, that that to me, I, I, like I said, I've only heard that one song. That song is fucking out of here. Yeah. Um, I'm, I can't speak on the rest of his music, but but um. From what I heard, nice. he's he's a star. He has it. Yeah, yeah. From yeah. what I heard, so. yeah. I mean, he has the look. Yeah, you know, he has all yeah, that yeah. shit. So neck yeah. tattoo and yeah. I'm trying. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Who else? Like I said, I'm bad at this. How shit. are some ways that you um, keep up with new music, bro? However, because for can. me, like. You know, me, you listen to Morrissey yeah. and Tribe. Yeah, yeah, exactly. When I'm in the car, that's what I want to hear. I'm the same way. I want to hear the, new the, music. The, uh, I, when I come across new shit, it's usually Twitter, you know what I'm saying? Okay, like, yeah. in the club. When That's one thing. You know, DJs hate when people come up and request shit in a club. I always I write it to, down. Yeah. Oh, okay. Same here, man. Always. That's how I heard about Blueface for the first time. Got it. And, like... The second time someone had a camp, it was a, the second, like, I, I was at one club. Someone asked me for blue face. I didn't know what it was. I wrote it blue down. Face, baby. Yeah, I wrote it down. And I remember going back and listening to it and being, I, I didn't get it. Especially in L.A. clubs because it's yeah. all young people. Exactly. Yeah. And 21-year-old kids. And I'm like, all right, let's see what they like. It, exactly, 100%. bro. And, and I remember listening to it. And I was like, ah, I don't think this I don't think this will work. And then, the, and then I was at another club a while, like, a few weeks later. And someone else asked me for it again. I'm like... Like damn, it's that same record, you know, yeah. and that's when I finally like started paying attention to it. But, but yeah, it, you know, it, it'll be in the club or or you know on YouTube, it'll like recommend yeah. shit. That's how that's how I came across Teach Me How to Dougie was wow. on YouTube, and and oh, wow. I fuck, yeah, I, I like crazy. came across it randomly on YouTube, and I fucking like reached out to them like, yo, wow. I need this record, you know what I'm damn. saying? But that's another song that's got a second life again. Like that bro, song's huge. Oh, I, I, I still know, play it. Dog. Yeah. yeah, it shit still crazy. that shit trips me out, bro. Yeah. Um, but yeah, YouTube, SoundCloud, like, yeah. and it, it unfortunately, uh, um, most of those kids passed away. Yeah, there's, yeah. I think, I think, I yeah, two of them, two, two of them, passed. Them did, right? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah, it's crazy, man. So, um, but yeah, man, you know, just I, I fucking find that's music a good, that's all, good all way to do it though. Like when people request shit, yeah, you I, might not I have it, or it might not even want to play it, but remember yeah. what they want. I always you gotta keep, I gotta remember what the room wants. I always put it in my notes. I always put it in my notes whenever someone asks me for shit. So. Um, but yeah, really, you know, that, that's it, you know, and it's, any it's, new, uh, music coming out LA leakers. Yeah. We actually have a, a few records. Um, it's just damn dog. The, the, the legal side of yeah, it is so worst, draining, yeah. bro. We talked, we talked to Chase B about this. Bro, just the, it the, just makes you not want to do it. Yeah. No, we had this one record, which will probably never come out now. I'm guessing. I don't know, but, but it was two chains, YG and Jeremiah. Wow. I remember this. And yep. it's they like these labels make it so difficult yep. for you, man. It's like clearing just, it with the artist or just like no, everything because it's always all that shit. one guy can't or the uh, other yeah. guy can't or this the guy cra- has an yeah, album yeah, coming exactly. out. This guy has a single currently he can't. Yeah, and then you with. know, there's always like you know different producers yeah. involved and it's like percentages and, and bro, beef. Like oh, bro, Jeremiah exactly. hates two chains for whatever reason. <laughs> yeah, now. yeah. So it's, it's like oh, why'd like, that happen? Damn, bro. Yeah. So it, that shit's just draining. But we, I mean, we're definitely still gonna put some shit out. But but, um, you know, like That's I said, what I'm saying, just, you guys have the 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 young ear. Get the kid, bro. Manage them, and then guess what? You sign them off. Yeah. That's true. I need to. I need to stop bullshitting. Stop fucking around. But yo, thanks for coming up, nah, bro. man. Thank, Thank you, you guys, you. man. At DJ Sour Milk on Instagram and Twitter. And SoundCloud. Every, SoundCloud, everything is DJ Sour Milk. No space. That's the good thing about having a fucking weird exactly, ass name. Bro. No, no one ever no takes one my shit. Yeah, you ever. don't need no real, underscores. Man. 
I thought I actually thought about recently losing the DJ and just doing the sour milk, but but there is people that have sour yeah. milk, surprisingly. And I'm like, oh, come on, dog. What the fuck? You know? Yeah. But fucking losers. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you, bro. Nah, thank Appreciate you guys, it. man. Thank you, dog. Yeah.